Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the farm. An early morning at that. It is January 7 a.m. Because we're, we're starting very early today because we have quite a few tasks ahead of us to do. Because we can't sow just yet. But if we time this just right, I believe that we will be able to, well, time this just right. We have field 6 and 7 right here, okay? And what you can do is plant oilseed radish, and if you time it right, then you can cultivate that into the ground, and that acts as a stage of fertilizer, which is amazing. So if we take a look here, oilseed radish, it can be sowed or seeded in these months right here. We're in January, and we will be able to do that in March. And what I want to sow this year for the crops, like the stuff we're actually going to get money out of, is going to be... I think soybeans. So we will be working in March and May, hopefully planting in March or definitely planting the oilseed radish in March and then ideally drilling the soybeans into the ground in May. If in if we can do it in April, then definitely in April. At this time, looking at the prices and it does look like soybeans are definitely like one of the higher tier uh, crops that we can get. So I'm hoping that it's actually going to turn out great. If not, well, then I guess lesson learned. Maybe like some of the other crops like wheat and barley, you actually get more. And even though it has like less of a price, you end up getting more because you get more per crop. You get the idea. Um, but I think for this year, we're going to go with soybeans. So that's going to be interesting. So that is my plan. So today I want to get, well, I can't get all seed radish in just yet, but I can do some other preparations we need to do around here as well. First of which is to check the used machinery store and nothing new in there. It hasn't updated. We're going to attach to the roller real quick here uh, because the grass field could do with some rolling and we need the grass field for the cows and the sheep. Speaking of which, we need to go ahead and see if they have everything that they need. Uh, so this is the sheep, productivity, they still have grass, pretty good. Chickens have grain, that is good. Now the cows, yes, their health has gone up and the productivity has gone up as well. They still have hay, they have grass, and they, it's it's going well. We have 1,000 liters of slurry. That's amazing. <laughs> that is really, really good. Actually, hold on. Hold on, there's this thing. Um... I, I am just looking at my notes and I noted down to look at this because this thing is used for bedding for the cows. So you can like add um, straw bedding to the cows, but I'm pretty sure if you use this, you won't get slurry. Or are we getting manure right now? Hold on, I need to double check this. We are getting slurry. If we add straw, I'm pretty sure that we're going to get manure instead. I could be wrong. I don't know if there's something in here about cows, animals, cows. Uh, hold on. No, nothing in the cow section right there. Okay, I'll think about it. It is a really good discount, and it's definitely not something that is going to be worthwhile leasing. Excuse me. Did I not transport these bales? Like, the... Did I seriously not transport those bales? I am very much in shock. Okay. Huh. Anyway, uh, I'm going to put this over here somewhere. Probably not the most ideal place to put it. But I need to get these bales out of the way so I can actually roll this ground. Okay, I was actually worried that we didn't have any more grass. But I, it, it, again, it's been a while since I've played this series. I've just begun again, so I'm... I'm rediscovering things, basically. We're going to reattach this and we need to move those bales. We do have 92,000 euros in the bank right now. And I am... Oh, I am kind of thinking, potentially, buying some more land. Because... Getting some straw would be nice, and also keep the grain up for the chickens is going to be nice. Um, and straw can be used for the bedding for the cows. So that is something that we might do. We do have the money for it. So I'm thinking about it. I'm considering it. All right. And there's something else that we're going to... Ooh, that's a pole. <laughs> 
there's something else we could buy as well. But first, we're going to be working with this field. Now, these bales should be put into dry storage, something like here where we can easily access it. Definitely not going to be neatly stacked, but better than nothing. I actually think these grass bales are going to last us quite a long time. They are 45 liters, and I don't think we consume that much per month. So if all goes well, this should last us for a while, and I won't have to actually buy any for the foreseeable future. This bale is very stubborn. This, at this point, this is when having the SATA control panel would be really nice. I do have it, I just don't have it plugged in nor set up. But I probably should. Please stay, please stay, please. No. Stay. Good enough for me. <laughs> And yes, for those of you curious, I am using a steering wheel, the Logitech G27. I've had this thing for many years. I actually don't know how many years I've had it for, but it's many. It's many. Uh, I've, I've played quite a bit of Euro Truck Simulator with this thing. And now Farming Simulator as well. And it's... Uh, would you? Okay. I'm not gonna question that position of the bale. But uh, yes, definitely helps with the immersiveness. I absolutely love it. It's, it's amazing. In fact, the last time when I was setting up this wheel for uh, doing the last episode of Farming Simulator, I booted up uh, Euro Truck Simulator because I was having some issues. I needed to see if it was just Farming Simulator or if it was something like driver-wise or something like that. And I booted up Euro Truck Simulator and I discovered it had gotten a brand new... I don't know how new it is, honestly. Because it's been a while since I've played it, but it's gotten a, a, a new feature where, because the steering wheel has force feedback, it can vibrate, but also it can like tighten to uh, to become really stiff. And what Euro Truck Simulator does apparently now or can do is, you know, when you're standing still, right? Turning the wheel normally in a car is a lot tougher than turning it while you're driving. They have implemented that. <laughs> I was in shock because I, I felt the wheel was really stiff and I was like, okay, interesting. And I started driving forward and the wheel slowly started started, uh, started to loose, loosen up. Like, what? I was a little bit in shock. Like, that was just amazing. Really, really cool feature. And it's made me want to play Euro Truck Simulator again. I would love to make content in it. I just don't know how. Because it would be literally me driving around, not doing anything else. <laughs> Talking, I guess, but yeah. Uh, okay. I believe... Oh, this is going to be tough. Can't I see where I'm going? I don't think I can. Uh, let's go to... Roll. Is there one for needs rolling? Yes. Oh, dear. Um... There's not one a button for like lower, lift, so it's already lowered. Okay, you can kinda tell, but man, that's hard to see. Interesting, this is not updating. It says needs rolling. Hmm. I don't know. Oh. I'm gonna do it though. Because I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty beneficial for us to do so. But yeah, I would love to do some Euro Truck Simulator content. I just, again, don't know how I would actually do it. Because, again, it would literally be me just driving around. And unless I have, like, a specific topic to talk about for, like, 20 to 30 minutes. <laughs> driving from point A to point B. I don't know how interesting it would be, to be completely honest, but if you have any ideas or thoughts, do let me know down below in the comments. Because, again, it would be something that I would kind of love to, to try and do. I streamed it at one point. It is kind of a streaming game, so maybe I should do that. This field is so tiny, it is really difficult to work with, especially when bailing. It is not the ideal grass field. It has to be said. Like, it's really not. Also, I see I've missed some grass when I did the bailing last time. <laughs> not ideal, but, like, you have to keep turning around constantly. It's an awkward field to work in. It really is. Good thing we have this dro uh, drone overview, huh? 
<laughs> All right, apart from the corners, that is that job basically done. At, at least according to the physics of it, because uh, clearly, visually, we've done it. It still says needs rolling, but um, oh dear, pH value is bad. pH value is bad. pH. It's not that. It, it could be better, but hmm. I mean, it's oop, it's probably fine, right? Well, I am missing in this corner and then that corner over there, but overall, a job well done. And uh, that right there is the corners taken care of. Oh, but ooh, don't hit the pole. <laughs> ooh, that was a close one. All right, we can pack this away now, and we can move on to buying some stuff. I'm still contemplating whether or not we should buy another field. We do have the money for it. And I mean, the more fields we have, the more money we're actually going to have, like, coming in. So, I'm considering it. And if we get another one, do we see the exact same stuff in all of them? Like soybeans in all the fields? Or would we potentially put something else in, maybe for a different time? So we aren't as busy in, like, one month or two. Decisions, decisions, decisions. There's also the fact that once we've actually seen the soybeans in here, maybe we need to apply some some sort of fertilizer to it, like uh, manure or some organic fertilizer as well would be possible as well. Maybe <laughs> one plant survived the mulching. Um, oh yeah, maybe some liming or something, depending on what type of crop it is. Anyway, I zoomed on over here just to check out the greenhouses because I completely forgot that last time. But I think they're all right with the water. It still has 12,000 liters. Yep, it's doing good. We're producing a lot of lettuce, which is amazing. We have like one, two, three, four, five, six pallets of lettuce. 12, not 12,000 liters, 500. So that is 3,000, I think. 3,000 liters of lettuce, and it is to be sold, I believe, in February. Yes, and that is 2,000 euros per 1,000 liters. Actually, wait. Ooh. We are in January, and seeing this price already now, we could sell it, but I think I'm going to wait in the hopes of it's going to go even higher than that. So next month, we definitely need to sell the lettuce. Okay, the thing that I want to buy is fairly simple. Fairly simple. It is in tools and it is a mod. It is linked down below in the description and it is this thing. The, we the, the vehicle, the vehicle workshop. And I like this because uh, how do I rotate? I forgot how to rotate. That's that's a screen. I want to rotate this thing. There we go. Uh, with this, we can change tires ourselves, basically. And I think maybe right here would be a good place. You know, just at the corner there. Not really blocking anything. Yeah. Boom. It's 1,000, but it's definitely going to be worth it. Because it will allow us to do basic repairs and... Like changing the tires without having to go to the shop. It'll cost a little bit of money now. Wait. Wait. I have a pressure washer here. This farm comes with a pressure washer. I didn't... How was I possibly supposed to know that? Can I sell this one? I can. Do it. Yes. It's almost brand new. Because I have this. I didn't know I had this. But yeah, we have this now. So we can... Excuse me, chicken. <laughs> we can go over here, right? And then we can customize. We can repair. We can customize. We can change the tires. All that good stuff. I think that makes sense. Uh, yeah, we should be able to make small repairs here on the farm itself. It still says needs rolling. Maybe that's a glitch or something. I don't know. Also, I don't know if it is currently growing. It is growing. So that's good. It's in the early growing uh, growth stages, but it is definitely growing. Okay, very good. 
Um, so we own field seven and six, and we have ninety three thousand uh, heroes to our name. And there's something like field twelve, which has the value of sixty three thousand. That is doable. It's fairly big, and we can slowly start taking in this, like this area here. I mean, these up here, they're getting expensive. But they are much bigger as well. I love this spot right here. But you're paying for this entire tree hillside, which is basically useless because it's one giant hill. This part right here would be great for like olives or something like that. These as well, because they're so big and straight. These are some really good uh, grass fields, but we I don't think we need grass that desperately. We could go for like one of these smaller ones as well if we wanted to, but... With this one, really don't want to work with another small grass field, unless it's like something like 25. So I'm thinking either this one or this one. And this one is kind of next to field 8. We also need to be, take a look at the expected yield potential. This one is at 93. This one is at 88. I mean, that is higher than any of our other fields, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> um... Yeah, obviously we can't afford something like this, but we can afford something like this. Also, something is currently planted in it, that is canola. Is it growing? It is growing, so we get a free crop. Ooh. No weeds. That's good. Um. Okay. That's not bad, actually. This could be a mistake, but I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm yeah. 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 I did it. <laughs> so we now own this field, which has been harvested. That was sugar beet. That was a pain. And then we have this field, field nine. Ooh, canola. So I guess that decided what I was talking about earlier, whether or not we should have the same crop or not. Uh, <laughs> uh, no data found for the soil, though. We need to fix that, so let's head back to the tractor, get the soil sampler, and get sampling, so we can get some details of this, because now it's part of our farm, we need to uh, actually take a look at this. Look at our sheep, they're having such a good time, what is this looking like? Ooh. Okay. We have 1,000 liters of wool already, I don't know when it is time to sell the wool, actually. Speaking of which. Uh, wool, 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 there we go, ooh. Yeah, that's in May. That's... Yeah. We'll just let that, like... Like, get a bunch of those. Um... I don't remember where I actually placed the soil. That is... I'm pretty sure this is it. Right here on the corner. Yep, okay. So because we actually have canola in that field, we actually do need the narrow tires now, so... <laughs> everything is going... Well, it wasn't a strict plan, so everything is happening, like in the order that it should. So that's good. Uh, customize, wheel setup, and that should be narrow tires. Customize, yes. Configuration changed. Narrow tires are good. Very good, all right. Let's get the soil sampled done. Sampled? The soil sample sampled? All right, and there we go. Beautiful, so we already have this field that that other field sampled. We did that when we bought this thing. Now, we're gonna go ahead to our new field and do it. And hopefully the crop is not gonna get damaged by it. That would be an unfortunate. Um, yep, narrow tires are doing its work. I'd be disappointed if it wasn't, because paid for them. <laughs> uh, okay, so right here should be good. I don't remember how to do this, though. Uh, unfold. Or am I fold? Okay, I'm folding it. I need to not do that. I need to lower it, and then I need to... There we go. And... Take soil sample. B. And again, I'm pretty sure we should be able to see it, like, working. If it wasn't for the crop. But that's cool. That's very cool. So that is one sample done. We can move up the field. 
do another one over here-ish. I don't know how many I should take, actually. I know I've taken three now. And I know I'm overlapping. But that is because... I really want to cover the entire thing. <laughs> so we're gonna take one more here, I think. This one, and then... Maybe two more. Maybe two more. But all of this seems to be just one... Soil type. Is that... Has that changed? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Has that changed or is that new? That looks... Oh, soils have been taken. Right, it just shows where thing the soils have. Okay, so we've taken four. I don't think I need to do in that corner because... Like, it's probably... Like, it just has to be an estimation. Ah, fine, let's just do it. Right here, in the corner. Get a little bit of the neighboring fields as well for future reference. And there we go. We lift it, and I don't remember how to send in the samples. Um, it was, uh, yeah, hmm. Ah, why? So samples are now sent. You will see the results very soon. Nice. We can fold this back in, actually. 500 euros, soil samples analyzed. That's actually not too bad. I'll take that. I don't think that's too bad. And I think it's been analyzed, so we can now see the result on the map. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so it's basically like field 7 here. A mix of loamy sand and sandy loam. And that's pretty much it. Okay. Cool. Uh, this doesn't look promising, though. But, uh, <laughs> guess we'll find out. Actually, we can go ahead and take a look at this, though. I still haven't quite figured out, like, exactly how to understand this. I know it's different for each crop. I'm pretty sure... Ooh, that's a bad yield. I'm pretty sure... If I go to, like, this... For example, obviously there's nothing in here, so it says bad and okay down at the uh, bottom right, according to what's currently in the field, which was uh, beets. Or not beets, sorry. What are they called? I keep calling them the wrong thing. Sugar beets. This is canola. And the nitrogen is horrendous. So we can fix that, I believe, by spreading lime. If I'm not too mistaken. So if I go over here, nitrogen. No wait, that's uh that's not. No, that's not lime. That is me talking gibberish. Nitrogen. We need to uh by walking the field, blah blah blah. Increase by applying either fertilizer or manure. Right. So this brings me on to something that I've been thinking about in the series. This series is all about organic farming and, as much as we can, no tilling. Which also means uh, no chemical fertilizer and um, weed removal chemicals, right? But you are, from my research in a way, you are able to get organic, both liquid and non-liquid fertilizer that is not chemically created. So question is, do we allow that in this series? Because if so, a sprayer is a lot easier than using manure. Or do we stick to only using manure and stuff like that and then buy something along the lines of this? Actually buying the manure, which is going to be extremely expensive because that's only 1,000 liters. Whereas we were to say... Liquid fertilizer? I don't know what the difference is. The price is the same. It's the same. Obviously, these these are no-go. These are no-go. But if we were to say, for example, that these were organic fertilizer, liquid organic fertilizer, right? We could do that. Now, I do realize that the price looks a lot more expensive, but I'm pretty sure that it's going to last a lot longer than the manure, because the manure, you need a lot more to do it. If we were to do that, uh, where is a spreader thing? Sprayer. Uh, that's what I am looking for. Thinking about it, though, you wouldn't really... 
I haven't heard anyone use organic liquid fertilizer. What's this? Top liquid fertilizer. Solid fertilizer. I don't know what all this is for. Hmm. That is interesting. I don't know what these are. These are not mods because these, when you go to those, uh, this for example, oh, it doesn't show that it's a mod. Do we have a mod? Oh yeah, the mod shows down here. So these two are not mods. Solid fertilizer. Hmm. I guess those would be spread using normal, like a, a spreader thing, like this thing, if I can find it, like this, I assume, which we already have one. Yeah, it acts as fertilizer, so we could do that as well and say it's like chicken poop or something, because you can actually use that. I don't know. Let me know down below in the comments what we should do in that regard. This nitrogen also looks pretty bad, so we do need to do something. I mean, we have cows, but the slurry is not going to last very long. You think a couple thousand liters is a lot, but it's not. It, it, it's just not. It's definitely not. So I think I'm actually going to end this episode here a little bit earlier uh, than expected, and not as many jobs, but I need to decide this before moving forward. Should we allow the usage of liquid slash... Uh, non-liquid fertilizer and say it as organic or should we stick to manure and buy other farmers manure in order to spread on to the crops let me know your thoughts down below in the comments your feedback will be greatly appreciated on this i'm not sure where to go from here so uh, i'll be looking at the comments and thinking before recording the next episode which is the next episode hopefully we can actually seed the oilseed radish into the fields, this one and this one. And we will be moving into February, selling the lettuce, which is going to be quite exciting. And if we do decide to do the fertilizer or whichever I decide, we're definitely going to do something about that field over there. And we probably will have some weeding to do as well. Lots to do. Hope you enjoyed this episode. <laughs> A lot of information there. Let me know down below in the comments what you think. Hope you enjoyed. And until next time, have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.